Hello and welcome to my new presentation of the LGRS Home Automation System done on an Omega 1500. I will show you today a special presentation especially done for the Amiga Boeing podcast. So let's start. You see here my Amiga 1500 screen, the Amiga OS 4 is running. So we see here now the Amiga 1500. And on the Amiga we see here, this is a Arduino 2560 with a network connection and here we have the Raspberry Pi it's uh, working as an MQTT broker so we have MQTT messages in the system back to the Arduino the Arduino is equipped to receive uh, 433 MHz uh, signals and can send it also. So we can steer uh, some uh, technical devices. Okay, here we have the uh, Arduino Yun. This is a uh, Arduino equipped with uh, a shield and uh, with many sensors. And this Arduino has a Wi Fi shield so it can uh, send all data directly to our system. Okay, we are now on the Amiga OS 4 system and now we are trying to start the program. The program is done with the famous uh, Hollywood system done by Andreas Fagenhan. Many thanks to him. And uh, we will start now the Hollywood player and searching the program still under development okay here we are okay and now we will start the home automation software Reestablishing link. looks a little bit like Star Trek At first we have a, a startup sequence running which will connect to our hardware automatically. Now we are searching the Raspberry Pi, our MQTT broker. It seems that everything is running fine. Next is the Philips Hue bridge for our light system. Seems, seems that all is running very well. Okay, now what can we do now? At first we are searching another Arduino uh, manually. This is the Arduino Yun. We are checking if this uh, board is online. As you have already seen, this uh, Arduino is equipped with uh, all the sensors. Okay, seems it's working fine. Okay, we are now going uh, to the sensors. The system is able to connect to as many sensors as you want or as you have on on your Arduinos and program them, no problem. So we have here at first an humidity sensor. Now we check if we got some data from this sensor. Okay. Are yeah, feeling like Captain Kirk. Okay, now next uh, sensor we have uh, here many sensors. Okay, maybe a temperature sensor. We check the temperature in, in the room where the other Eno Yun is established. Okay, 22 degrees. Okay. So there are many sensors you can look after the light, the air quality, uh, maybe some alcohol uh, barometer, okay, electricity, 
there are so many senses uh, <laughs> it's uh, unable to describe them all okay okay now check the brand stool outlets that's the button on the left side we go to the outlet we have implemented three brand stool outlets at the moment as you can see we have here the outlet one with a pc lamp uh, we can also steer the outlet uh, to say okay and this time you will go on and this time you will go off but now we will do this manually and uh, we just press the on button and hope the light will go on okay looks like the light goes on and if pressing the off button it should go off okay that's it okay what can we do now next we have a very complicated system that's the the Huawei system that's uh, how we can uh, steer our complete lamp system in our house so let's check this one okay we have here uh, nine lamps are working at the moment and uh, with uh, this system now we can uh, steer all the lamps but we can also uh, steer the living whites adapters uh, we have here uh, the special rooms yes you can see every room is possible so at the moment we now try to steer all the lamps that's a little bit easier so we see everything working okay now we uh, press the button again and the Hue system pops up and now we can say okay that are now these uh, normal buttons like uh, is in, in the normal Hue system implemented it's the relax, sync, read and power button and also you can uh, define some sets so we can say in your living room we will have uh, orange light or red light or yellow light so now we uh, just press the button and uh, say okay let's uh, make some uh, green light okay we press this button the signal will uh, go to the lamps and all the lights are now in uh, green mode also we can say okay make the light a little bit darker or a little bit uh, brighter no problem okay i will show you the lamps in a few seconds how they will work so here the Hue light system, now the mask is in blue light. Uh, we have uh, orange light in the dining room. The button uh, I will show you is the MAX uh, 3 EQ heating system. So we have here uh, the cube at first we must establish a connection to the cube the cube steers all the heating system hardware so we need a connection to this cube so we can do everything okay so we have now the established a link also we can now try what what hardware is implemented we see uh, movement sensors or open sensors yes we have uh, the eco shelter. If you press this, this uh, button, uh, all the heating system will sl uh, go down to uh, eco temperature. We have a thermostat working uh, in our living room. Shows now we have a temperature about uh, 21 uh, degrees. Because we have now summertime and the heating system is uh, off. So we have only the heating temperature if we press the button we can see more detailed information but this is at the moment uh, I think it's an old old information because we are not not directly uh, with a working heating system so it only receives uh, data like the room temperature we got no uh, information from the device Okay, next button I will show you is the uh, the IP cam. So if we press this button, we can see we have another hardware implemented. These are uh, IP cams. So we have at the moment uh, I have implemented two IP cams. And, uh, let's check this one. This is a D-Link. So if we press the button here, 
I will try to connect to the uh, D-Link IP cam and uh, now you can see me live in action here uh, and uh, let's try again I press the button again so I will try to see a little bit more from me okay a little bit more action a little bit more motion okay what can we do more we have over there the planet earth let's uh, check out what what we will receive when we press here the earth button okay uh, i implemented here some information about my hometown about the weather forecast and uh, the outside temperature at the moment so it looks pretty good okay what have we more we have here an alarm system so the alarm is now uh, working we can put it off yes also we can put it on on the right hand side we have the wake up time so on the morning on 7 30 the system will wake you up we can uh, work on a script so say okay at 7.30 the lights will go uh, every seconds a little bit brighter so you will wake up very softly and if the lights are bright I will play a nice song for you and in the kitchen uh, the coffee and uh, maybe the egg boiler is running and is uh, serving you okay that will I show you in a few seconds okay let's uh, check the alarm function okay I will move uh, through the sensor so we have an intruder now detected and uh, we are on condition red now okay now uh, I have implemented a function that all our lights let's move over there all the lamps will go to red light condition as on Star Trek So deck is clear now and we are on the green light condition. Okay, here we see the UA bridge and the cube for all the heating system. Here we see the IP camera system. This is the D-Link. We see here another IP camera system. This is an uh, in-star system. Here we see a movement sensor, which uh, makes the nice uh, red alert. Here another movement sensor. Okay, we have here now the heating system. It's uh, now off because we are in summertime. This is in. The Another part of the heating system, it's a thermostate. Here we can see now the MQTT messages coming in if something happens. This is done on an iPad to see my complete system working fine. We can see all sensors, all things, all things are sending MQTT messages. And now I will show you the wake-up call, which is will be done in the early morning, but now it's not in the morning, it's uh, late in the afternoon, so we, we can now change the time in the ini file, and you will see what happened. Okay, we have changed the time now to 1848, and we will also see this on the right-hand side. That the wake-up call is now on 1848 
So we are still waiting. We go over to the light. It starts in a light blue. And now the wake up call is coming in. Now time to start the coffee machine. Waiting for the signal. Okay, the machine is working now and making coffee. Waiting for the signal. And here it comes. <laughs> 